This morning we've had a delicious breakfast of cocoa curry. Better for breakfast than you think. We've been looking around some shops in Siskina in Sapporo and we're just heading towards the beer museum, the Sapporo Beer Museum and then later on today we're going to come back and see the snow festival by day and then see the other bits that we missed at night. In today's video we're finding out about the first brewery in Hokkaido, seeing some interesting retro advertising and we've got some top quality beer reviews for you. <laughs> To see the rest of what we've been doing in Hokkaido, there's a playlist on my channel and there's New Japan videos every Thursday if you want to subscribe. We've come to the Sapporo Beer Museum where you can see how they make the beers. We walked here from Suskino, which is actually, it's not a short walk but it wasn't too bad and today it's only minus two so it feels quite tropical compared to the other days when it was minus 11 and it's quite nice in the sun so we just took it easy dropped in at a book off on the way where I saw a magazine about st keeping stag beetles as pets. <laughs> that was interesting. And now here we are. It's about half an hour walk from Adori Park in central Sapporo. That's about a mile and a half. And you can also get the bus if you prefer. Now, I'm not a fan of beer myself, but Sapporo is Phil's favorite of the Japanese beers. That's apart from Orion, Orion, a beer from Okinawa that we tried at a festival in Koagawe. But that's really hard to find, and I don't think you can get it abroad. If you know anywhere, tell us in the comments. This building actually doesn't look Japanese at all either. Like quite a few buildings we've seen in Sapporo look completely different from what you see elsewhere in Japan. There's a tour you can go on for free and there's a premium tour that you need to pay for. Here's the times for the premium tour. It's every half an hour but today it's busy until four o'clock. That's the next available one. At the moment it's about, what's the time now? I don't know, about two. Maybe. About one or two p.m. Uh, half two. It's half two. So the premium tour is 500 yen and it takes 50 minutes. It's all in Japanese and in that one you get two free samples. And in the free tour you can wander around by yourself and you can try products at reasonable prices. We've come upstairs, we're just going to do the free tour. It's self-guided so you can just look around by yourself. Lots of places in Japan have a souvenir stamp. Here's the one for the Sapporo Beer Museum. I wonder if this is their mascot, Ribbon. It's a big barrel. How many pints you could fit in that? They've got translations on these laminated cards by the side in different languages. When beer first came out, it was really expensive. One bottle was the same as three and a half bottles of high end sake or 20 portions of soba noodles and because people didn't know it very much. They told people it was healthy, nutritious, and adding ice makes the beer more refreshing and delicious. As a designer, my favorite part was looking at all the retro style artwork on these labels and posters. I like this one, the peacock beer. Seeing these old posters was interesting. To me, it looks kind of strange to see people in traditional Japanese clothing holding bottles of beer. But yukata are what people often wear to summer festivals or matsuri, where you might have a drink or two, so I guess it makes sense. You shouldn't be advertising beer with little kids. <laughs> oh, it's not beer, it's their fizzy drinks. <laughs> Raspberry, tari san, tan san, tan san? Like that drink the Tansan, Chitron, Citron, Ribbon, something. These are the drinks you can try in the tasting hall and the prices if you take the free tour. Looks like you get the tickets from a vending machine. As you can see, it's really busy in the tasting hall. This is definitely the most popular part. Here's our tickets. We're getting a tasting set of three beers, some cheese, and my fizzy drink is the Ribbon Napolin. Here's the tasting set. This one is the Black Label, which is the most popular Sapporo beer. This one's the classic one. 
Um, this one is Kita Kaitakushi beer, which is the original one, the first beer they made here. They also gave us some wasabi peas with the beers. Here's the Gouda cheese, it's really tiny. <laughs> and this is made from all milk from Hokkaido. And this is my Ribbon Napoli, it's very orange. This is a soft drink that's also made by the Sapporo Beer Company. Apparently it's a hundred years old. Hopefully not this particular one. <laughs> So Phil, what do you think of the Kaitakushi beer? Good. <laughs> <laughs> it said in the exhibition, Kaitakushi is the name of the initiative to develop Hokkaido and that's part of why they built the beer brewery up here in Hokkaido as well as because there was ice that could be used in the brewing process rather than in Tokyo, there is no ice. This Ribbon Napoli is not a very strong flavour. It's a little bit orangey. I'm imagining it tastes like iron brew a little bit, but I don't think I've really had iron brew. It's nice. So what do you think of the classic beer? It's nice. <laughs> This one is a little bit more crisp um, than the previous one, which is slightly more to my taste. Mm. We only get one type of Sapporo in the UK. I don't know. I think we probably do. You might be able to get one. Final beer, the Black Label. How is it? It's alright. So, uh, <laughs> I prefer the classic, I think. Um, this is still very good but it sits somewhere between the classic and the first one. Ah, this is the most popular one in Japan. I can see why, it's mm. nice, but the classic is just, again, a little bit more crisp, which is what I like. Crispy beer. <laughs> in the gift shop, you can get beer towels and all kinds of Sapporo merchandise and souvenirs. In the shop, there's beer washi tape. fine beer jelly in chocolate. I wonder what it's like. The restaurant is very popular. It's called Sapporo Beer Garden. It's Genghis Khan, which is a special type of Hokkaido meal. Viking means all you can eat. Here's the prices. What is this? Chocolate beer, beer cocktail. I can't imagine what that would be like. <laughs> Genghis Khan's a traditional Hokkaido meal where you get like a round metal cooking thing in front of you that looks like a helmet, that's why it's called Genghis Khan and you lay like lamb and different meat over the side of it to cook and vegetables around the edge and they all cook in the meat vat. It smells a lot of meat in here. I think it smells delicious. <laughs> <laughs> well the snow is quite pretty when the sun shines. The airport bus stops here so you could come straight to New Chitose Airport in Hokkaido and come straight here to the beer museum and then go straight home again if you wanted to. Ah! <laughs> 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 so that was Sapporo Beer Museum. There's not a whole lot here, but it is the place to go if you like Sapporo beer. The best bit is trying the different types, and if, like me, you don't like beer, they also have tiny cheese. I'll be back next week with more videos about Japan. I'll see you on Thursday. Bye!